Hi, my name is Chris Charlton. I'm one of the organizers of an iOS meetup group in LA and Orange County. And I'm going to show you my rig of what we're going to use for tonight's meetup. Here's the rig. Okay, well, not any of this stuff, but all this. So, what I have here is, for example, I have my lovely iPad, and I have my rig connected to my computer. Not right now, but it will be. So let me go ahead and connect that. So I actually am using a consumer grade webcam. It's a Logitech. Logitech Pro works on Mac. Make sure it says for Mac. I saw a lot of Logitechs at the store without any support for Mac, which is disappointing. So what I have here is a simple contraption. So let me zoom out so you can see it. Okay. Okay. So here is the camera. You see that I've actually just rubber banded it so the camera can swivel if needed. It's a 1080p camera. And so I've actually turned it around and hooked it up to a small desktop microphone stand. Okay. So this actually can be adjusted so I can unlock it actually lift it up in case it needs to be higher for a presenter or a device. So, <clears throat> you see again, I've just rubber banded the device and now let me show you an example of someone being able to present. So it would actually be best if you had books under um, and then if you're gonna have books uh, you should maybe even think about a cloth uh, or a sheet of construction paper, but uh, like some black cloth would actually work really good over the books. The books would stabilize the device um, to the height that makes sense. And then the, um, the cloth would help uh, people not get distracted by the books, the text on the books, or the colors of the books. So I think that makes kind of a lot of sense. So let me actually just go ahead and get this going. So I'm going to unlock my iPad. Okay. Okay, so there's my iPad, and I've gone to my web, uh, my computer, and I've loaded up QuickTime. So I'm going to do a new video, and we see that the video is actually of from the camera. Uh, QuickTime supports that. So let me just go ahead and adjust. Okay, and this is what I was saying about. Uh, the book because if I just lay the iPad down you see that there's a lot of real estate not being used so I'm gonna actually lower the rig a little bit not too much okay but more importantly I'm actually gonna bring the iPad up towards the rig a little bit okay so as we see here it's actually looking a little bit better. So, um, just for demonstration of this video, I'm going to show you. I can flip around. Okay. So let me show you the screen. So this is what people see on the projector. Okay. And also, um, as a tip, you know, you want to make sure it's straight. That helps a lot. Um, if there's no overhead lights, as you see that there's a light spot right there that's from the lights above. Um, the only way we could get rid of that is of course the angle making sure that a light is not directly above. But other than that, um, the rig, the camera costed about $89 at Fry's, uh, normal retail price $99, and the mic stand was about $30. I got that from a local, um, either an audio store or a pawn shop with a lot of audio products. Um, so one last tip before I go, it's the screen. If you notice it, it takes a little while to kind of focus because it's a bright light that's coming up. So my recommendation is um, turning down the brightness, uh, not all the way, but that helps. Uh, so if I'm here on the brightness and wallpaper, uh, you'll see the brightness adjuster. Um, I definitely would mess with that and also let the camera um, have a few seconds to adjust. So uh, it will then get used to what you have on the screen. Um, note that if you have an input text field, 
uh, like on a form. Uh, let me see if there's anything like that. Um, yeah, if you have an input text field, I notice sometimes the text gets uh, blown out. Uh, it's just too bright. So that's pretty much it for this little rig, and I hope everybody uh, enjoys using it tonight at the meetup. And if you're going to build your own, I hope it works out well for you.